I am super excited about this video because in this video, we have some never before seen footage to share with you guys. And it really embodies the whole reason why it is that we live this lifestyle where we prioritize experiences over things and really our kind of new mission of prioritizing spending time with people over material possessions as well. So make sure that you watch to the end and then leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought about today's video. Let's get going. So there are two big questions that we have today. The first question is, are the kids gonna make it? And then the next question is, uh, what do you mean by that? Will we be able to find it? go to a little library thing uh, it's like a library a little where you take a book leave a book I'm excited I'm happy I'm ready to read so this campground that we've been staying at here in the Black Hills of South Dakota is so awesome just in its location and proximity to everything so we're gonna go over to this little lending library that we found and uh, switch out some books for the kids and then uh, we'll get on with our day today. It's interesting living RV life, but not every day is just wake up and a big adventure, but you have life to live in between. You've got errands to run and things to do, and maybe you've kind of found that to be true in um, just what you're doing with RV living, if you're living the RV lifestyle. So you have to leave us a comment below and just let us know like what is your typical day look like so that's what we're gonna do today and uh, we'll kind of bring you along for the ride and give you some tips along the way they have two things of play-doh two other erasers and a sticker cool do you think i can take one for free like a play-doh thing you could probably take one but let's drop yeah. off our books let's exchange the I'm books not, I'm, not, I'm looking at the horizon our fears leave on behind us now hey guys so what are we doing today going to Keystone. We are in Keystone. Keystone, South Dakota. And so this is a place that is not a new territory for us, but this is a place that we love to come back to over and over. And if you stay tuned, we're going to show you why. We ready to do this? Yeah. Woo, let's do it! So Dakota is eating a chocolate covered marshmallow. This is one of those areas that is kind of your little typical sort of tourist town, but it's fun to come down to these areas every once in a while and get the local goodies. And we've got taffy and we just went to the chocolate shop. So how's the marshmallow? It's awesome. Let me see it. Uh, finally, it's the Keystone one. Nice. It's calling the wild, wild. It's calling now the wild, wild. Looking good on there. There you go. <laughs> So there are two big questions that we have today. The first question is, are the kids gonna make it? And then the next question is, uh, what do you mean by that? will we be able to find it? So we are here at the trailhead for a hike called Devil's Bathtub. And I've been reading some of the reviews on the All Trails app for this particular hike. And there's a lot of people that have said that the trail can be rather confusing as far as where it is and where you're going. So we're going to hope today that number one, the kids can do this hike okay uh, with minimal complaining. And then number two, that we can find it. So we're gonna 
head out here and we're gonna bring you along and let you know what the answer is to both of those questions and then also give you some tips and things for hiking with kiddos. It's been a while since we felt the way we did back when we were dumb and younger. Minnow, and I'm trying to catch it. Can I take it with you? It's been mm -hmm. a while since. Put it in your water bottle. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely a lot of creek crossings. So I'm really glad that uh, I have my keen water shoes for this particular hike. Definitely something that uh, would be helpful to have water shoes if you're going to take this particular type of hike. So we just crossed our first little like creek thing. I guess we've heard or read on all trails that's a thing on this trail. So be prepared to cross a lot of creeks and wear either shoes you don't mind getting wet or some sort of like hiking sandal. So definitely places where you're gonna get wet. So we're getting closer and uh, the creek is coming through kind of narrowing canyon walls. So this is really beautiful. It reminds me of when we were in Zion at the Narrows. It's not quite as epic as the Narrows, but still a really cool area and a super fun hike so far. Lots of other people that are up here with tinier kids even than our own kids. So definitely know that this is a family-friendly, kid-friendly hike. Real fast, we're gonna interrupt today's video to share just a little bit about the sponsor of today's video, Unique Camping and Marine. Now, Unique Camping and Marine makes products for your tank treatments. So your black tank, your gray tank, and then also to clean those tank sensors. Probably one of their most favorite products that I've been using now for a while is actually the toilet cleaner. So versus using bleach or something like that that actually kills bacteria, Area. It's actually not so great for your black tank and that's actually where a lot of your smells come from when you have that black tank smell. So we've been able to eliminate those smells by using the unique camping and marine toilet cleaner, following it up with the drop-in pods, eliminated those smells, and it also helps to just make sure that when we drain the tanks, everything that is in there comes out and that keeps our sensors clean as well. So we'll put a link in the description below. You can save 15% on their products on our partners page. So you'll find that below. Now let's get back to the video. So we're here, we made it. It is a little bit of a strenuous hike, but a little bit of perseverance and no fear of getting wet. It can definitely be done even with toe. So we're gonna enjoy the refreshing mountain water. One thing to remember when hiking any level of trail is always to make sure you have water. So we brought our backpacks with some snacks and water. This particular backpack, day pack, I have been using for the last three years of living an RV and outdoor life and I love it. So I'll put a link to this in the description below. I got this one on Amazon. And then something else to remember is that you can encounter things like poison ivy or poison oak. So understanding what those types of plants look like and to make sure that you avoid contact with those types of things so that you don't regret your hike later on in the day. So this has actually been a great hike. Tons of families that have been up here with kiddos and uh, 
we definitely recommend it. The trail, even though it's not super well marked in all areas, you can still figure out where it is that you're going pretty easily. And if you just follow the creek, you'll get to where that you're going. So definitely something to put on your list if you're gonna be in the South Dakota area. So you'll have to let me know in the comments below what you thought about today's video. We also wanted to give you a reminder, we finally have merch that shows our prioritization of experiences over things. So you can check this out on our website at gratefulglamper.com, hit the shop tab. We'll put a link in the description below as well. I'm gonna put some videos that I think you might like up here and up here. If you wanna check us out on Instagram, we do currently have a giveaway going, put that over here. And if you are not subscribed, you want to do that right here because we've got a lot of fun stuff coming up. You don't wanna miss a single video. If we don't see you on the road or at the campground, we'll see you in the next video.